Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. In this video, you will learn how to add a new column after a specific column in an existing table in Laravel. In this video, I will be using Laravel 11, but it will also work in Laravel 10. I have already installed Laravel 11 using Composer Create Command. After installing Laravel 11, open .env file and in DB connection, replace SQLite with MySQL. Then in DB database, add your database name. Then, open phpMyAdmin and create a database with the name you entered in the .env file. After that, open your terminal and migrate the database using the command, PHP Artisan Migrate. After migrating the database, you will see the following tables in the database. Click on the Users table. Click on Structure. In this Users table you will see columns such as ID, Name, Email, Email Verified at, Password, Remember Token, Created at and Updated at. Now, let's say you want to add a new column called Status in this table. How will you add the Status column in this table? Let's add the Status column in this table. In your terminal, type the command php artisan make colon migration, in double quotes add status to users table and press enter. A new migration file will be created. Click on database folder and then open migrations folder. Here is the new migration file, open it. Here you will see schema table instead of schema create because we want to make changes to an already created table. First, add dollar table, which is an instance of the blueprint class. Then, use the boolean method to define a column of boolean type, and in single quotes, specify the column name as status. Finally, set the default value to false using default, in parentheses add false. Now, add dollar table drop column, and in parentheses, add status to drop the status column from the users table. Now, type the command, php artisan migrate to migrate the database. Go to your browser. Reload the page and you will see status column is added in the users table. Now, let's say you want to add username column after the email column. How will you add the username column after the email column in this table? Go back to Visual Studio Code. In your terminal, type the command php artisan make colon migration, in double quotes add username to users table and press enter. Open the migration file which you have created. First add dollar table, which is an instance of the blueprint class. Then, use the string method to define a column of type string, and in single quotes, specify the column name as username. Next, use unique to ensure that all values in this column are unique. Finally, use after method and in parentheses add email to position the username column immediately after the email column in the table. Now, in the down method, add dollar table drop column and in parentheses add username to drop the username column from the users table. Now, type the command, php artisan migrate to migrate the database. The database has been migrated. Go to your browser. Reload the page. You will see, the username column has been added after the email column. In this video, we learned, how to add a new column in an existing table. We also learned, how to add a new column after a specific column in the existing table. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.
I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.